Hi, Ray Lawrence here. I've got an exciting video series coming up for you here. Oh, you know, all the videos that we produce are for you event planners, and we're here free of charge, no strings attached. Today I'm excited to bring you this series of short videos featuring Danielle Rothweiler. She's the president and CEO of Rothweiler Event Design. It's a full-service wedding and event planning company that's been featured in multiple media outlets and publications. Danielle is a celebrity event planner with clients across the globe, and she's a contributor to the Huffington Post Weddings articles. So anyway, we have Danielle here with us today. We're going to discuss 10 ways to drive your event planner crazy. So you're ready to jump right in here. I'm just going to start picking out a point or two and sure. get uh, what you had said in your, in your article and then kind of respond back with what our thoughts are. Absolutely. And the first one, the, the probably the one that drives me the craziest is people want to keep their budget a complete and total secret from us. Yes, yes. So as a wedding and event planner, I experience this 80%, 90% of the time. And I totally understand where a client is coming from when they say, you know, we don't know what anything costs because it's really hard to figure out what the real costs are in the wedding and event industry. You can go on Google, you can look on websites, but a lot of that information is misleading and you could ask your friends and that have recently gotten married or thrown a party, but lots of people like to lie about what they spent. So it's really hard to get a good idea of, okay, this is what it costs. And every what everybody wants is different. So what someone might pay me to plan their wedding might be different than what somebody else might pay me to plan theirs because the details are different. So I totally, you know, sympathize with the idea that people don't know what things cost. But at the end of the day, everyone has a budget for something, you know? So if you're, I like to say, like if you're going to buy a house and you go on Zillow, you put in your low end and your high end, you hit enter, and then Zillow tells you, here's what's available. So, you know, if I'm driving up and down the street that my office is on, I can't tell you how much the houses cost, but I can tell you what I could afford to pay for a house, and then Zillow can tell me if I can afford one of those houses. So it you have, you definitely have a number of what your willing to spend. Now, will that number possibly increase when you find out what the costs actually are? Sure. And at the end of the day, when people need to find the money for something, they'll find the money for something. If they really want it. Absolutely. People will, they, they will, you know, if as a homeowner, believe me, I've had to find money for all sorts of really fun, exciting things <laughs> that, you know, it just, that's it. So it's, it's important to establish like some sort of total number and and talk to anybody that is helping you out financially if your parents are helping you or anybody you got to have that conversation first before you do anything because it's nothing worse than looking at something and falling in love and then being like oh i can't afford that so you have to have some sort of number and the reason i say it drives me nuts when they keep it a secret is because i would put options in front of my couples let's say let's just use you know a photographer for argument's sake and mm -hmm. i'll say okay there was this photographer i recommend he's available here's the packages here's the number of, and then i get back whoa whoa that's way more than we're willing to spend okay so then you do have a budget so can you tell me what that is because and that's what i'm that's what i'm talking about like people do have a number that they have a cap and i could find out what you want and I could give you a range, but it's really more helpful if you have an idea of just like the whole budget in its entirety before you do anything. I think it's really important. That's a really good point with a photographer. We see it, you know, with you know the hypnotists and the magicians and the bands and that kind of thing. Is that somebody said this is this is what I want, you know, for our event. Well I can't really give them a price until I've reached out to people to see, are they available on that date, mm -hmm. you know, and that type of thing. And they're going to ask me, you know, do you have, is there a budget there? Right. Well, you know, we can't play this back and forth game between the client and the vendors. And it know. takes too long. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, and, and it, one of the things I try to tell people is that, you know, we don't ask for a budget just so we can drain your, your pocketbook dry. 
Mm -hmm. you know, uh, we want to see that you get the maximum use out of the dollars you have to spend. And we can't do that if we don't know. Right. And, and I think that's a, a concern that a lot of couples have is that, well, you're asking me for a number because, you know, that way you can ask for that amount of money, you know, and and that's not the case. And if couples are nervous that that is where the vendor or the venue is coming from, then just knock a thousand dollars off of what your budget actually is. Start lower. I mean, yep. act like you're buying a car. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, and I know this will probably irritate a lot of people that when I say this, but one of the things we find too is that people that a lot of times that try to hide their budgets are really just looky loos and, and quote shopping. Mm -hmm. They're just looking for low bids. Right. That's what they're looking for. Right. And exactly. It doesn't really work. So, we want to make sure that there's a budget on the table, even if mm -hmm. you start lower and build up from that. Mm -hmm. Some good points. Thank you, Danielle. This is part of a series of videos featuring Danielle Rothweiler titled 10 Ways to Drive Your Event Planner Crazy. Now you'll find all the links to each of the videos in the series right here. Be sure to share these videos with your friends and coworkers who plan events. And if you have not yet signed up to get all of our videos for free, make sure you do that today.